just when you think these Diddy videos can't get any more disturbing. I get this video right here sent to my Instagram DMs, and it's a clip of Diddy kissing his own mother on the lips as a grown-ass man. Him, him, this Diddy right here that we're looking at on the screen right here done gave a smooch to his mom on the lips. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I'm pretty sure once you reach a certain age, probably around like seven, if you ever even were kissing your moms on the lips, that's when it stops. You know what I'm saying? After that, 10 years, 10 years old and up, you got you to gotta put a stop to it. 18 years old as an adult, it, it just looks weird. But they felt comfortable enough to do this on camera. And you're going to see throughout the video, the look that his mom gives him is almost as if she's like feeling him. It's, it's a weird dynamic that we're looking at right here. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video right here, y'all, which is absolutely wild. Smash the like button and subscribe and turn on post notifications, especially if this is not your first video of mine that you're watching. It literally only makes sense. Let's get straight into this. And I appreciate the person for sending it to my DMs. Yeah, my mom is gorgeous. Well, let, me, let me introduce you to my mom. Call Mom Dukes. Hi. She's getting a drip with me. She's hydrating. What's up, Mom? Everything's good, baby. I'm here with you. Yeah. I love you. I love you too. What? Bro, even the way she called in for a kiss, bro. What? <laughs> what is this? What is I this? I love you too. Ma, I freshly dipped though. <laughs> Freshly dipped in what? Baby oil? What are you talking about? Freshly dipped. I, I was just trying to show you. Shoe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my mom's a single. Moms are single. I ain't gonna hate on my moms. Your moms is also in her 80s, if I'm not mistaken. She at least pushing 80. Who is wondering if she's single? She's single. Me and my mom talked about one time doing a dating show, but she's so picky. She's so picky, they don't stand. But yeah, that'll be the funniest show in the world. It will be. Especially with me. <laughs> I don't even want to get started if she was doing that. We're not doing that. Cause no. <laughs> yeah, my mom's single. Yeah, for real. Mom do know how to have a good time. She ain't sitting in the house playing. They're outside moving and shaking, baby. She come with me to strip club. I don't care. For real. It's my dog. You know, I want to live life. We out here moving and grooving. So my mom told me, she just said, keep moving, baby. That's right. Keep moving. She Don't stop. She could touch. She could touch um, the floor with her palms. You know. <laughs> the hell? This man is literally giving us a picture of his 80-year-old mom bending over with her hands touching the floor, straight-legged. Wow, what's going on? What is this, bro? I don't understand what is going on between their minds right now. He's going to go from a kiss to then promoting that his mom's is single. Then talking about her going to the strip club and not how she's bending that joint over. 80-year-old mom. Flat. Oh. <laughs> Take pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Bro, I don't know about y'all, but that's concerning. You will definitely be upset. You'll nah. definitely be upset. You'll be out of sudden, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 You'll have no one. Thank you. Box though. Hey, yo, check this out. This is Diddy. It's that boy they call Diddy. 
I'm here in the biggest, this is not even, this is just the play around mansion. Believe that. This yeah. boy is really for real. He's number one uh -huh. stunner. I guess what? He, he, yeah, he yeah, yeah, I got to pass it to him. You know what I'm saying? I was the number one stunner. I'm a, I'm a, I'm like a superior stunner now. You know, I'm going to graduate to my master's degree. At Star and, 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 you, and he's the number one. He's the one that, you know how you have, I'm like Kennedy. You feel me? He like Clinton. I was the president for shit. Bro, Diddy does not fail to boggle my mind, bro. What in the world would possess him to put his two lips on that man's bald head looking like a milk dad? That that was just uncalled for, Diddy. Uncalled for. I, I, I let you slide from the from the first part when you was grabbing up on him, hopping up and down on him, grinding up on his Freaking tracksuit and all that. But now you just he just going too far at this point, family. He just going way too far. It's all one, and if we in his mansion, it's one of many. He owns the whole motherfucking block. God, that's it. But yo, tell this our cash money bad boy, and we won't stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We see y'all at the club. Did he look in his lips before kissing DJ Khaled? Oh man. Hey family. Before we end this video, so just yesterday, which was October 6th, his mom actually released a statement on Instagram. And we're about to give a look at that statement right now, and I'm gonna read it for you guys. Let me just pull it up right here. Alright, bet. So this is a statement that his mom ended up writing. Let's hear what she has to say. First off, I need y'all to comment down below. Comment down your thoughts about Diddy kissing his 80-year-old mom on the lips and talking about her bending over and having her palms lay out flat on the ground while she's still standing up. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even want to picture that. But he put it in my head, bro. That just blew mine. But look at so we have this law, it seems like it's a law firm. This is law office law office of Natalie Figures. Just released this. And it's by Janice Small Combs, the mother of Sean Combs, through a under signed counsel and on behalf of the Combs family releases the following statement. It says, I come to you today as a mother that is devastated and profoundly saddened by the allegations made against my son, Sean Combs. It is heartbreaking to see my son judged not for the truth, but for a narrative created out of lies. To bear witness, to bear witness what seems to be like a public lynching of my son before he has had the opportunity to, pr to prove his innocence and a pain too unbearable to put into words. Like every human being, my son deserves to have his day in court to finally share his side to prove his innocence. Prove his innocence against what? I don't know if there's too much to prove at this point, but everyone everyone does deserve a trial. And I'm going to be right here for it. You know what I'm saying? I'm reacting to everything that goes on within that courtroom. It says, I am not here to portray my son as, as perfect because he is not. He has made mistakes in his past, and as, as we all have, my son may not have been entirely truthful about certain things, such as denying he has ever gone violent with an ex-girlfriend when the hotel surveillance showed otherwise. And if that footage never came out, they would still be lying about that to this day, along with all the other allegations. It says, sometimes the truth and the lie become too closely intertwined that it becomes terrifying to, to admit one part of the story, especially when that truth is outside the norm or is too complicated to be, to be believed. This is why I believe my son's civil legal team opted to settle the ex-girlfriend's lawsuit instead of contesting it with the end, until the end, resulting in a, I don't know what that word is, ricochet effect as the federal government used this decision against my son by interpreting it as an admission of guilt. Well, I mean, high key, I mean, if he's over there pleading not guilty when he was obviously guilty about the case, there's nothing else to fight. Settle the joint. You know what I'm saying? You're losing. It says, it is important to recognize that none of us, regardless of our status, are immune to fear or mistakes. Not being entirely straightforward about one's one issue does not mean my son is guilty of the repulsive allegations and the grave charges leveled against him. Just tell me why he has a thousand bottles of baby oil. I want that. Someone needs to ask him that on the trial. Why does he have a thousand bottles of baby oil? Many individuals who were wrongfully convicted and later exonerated 
had their freedom taken from them, not because they were guilty of the crimes they were accused of, but because they didn't fit the image of what the society considers to be a good person. History has showed us how individuals can be wrongfully convicted due to their past actions or mistakes. says right here, watching the world make jokes and laugh at my son's life crumbling before our eyes is something I can never forget. You have to keep in mind, I get it, she's his mom, but she's also sticking up for a guy that you've had multiple trafficking victims come forward and talk about how they're completely traumatized. Lives that can never be changed back. It is truthfully agonizing to watch the world turn against my son so quickly and easily over lies and misconceptions without, hear, without ever hearing his side affording him the opportunity to present his side. These lies thrown at him are motivated by those speaking, seeking a financial gain and not justice. These individuals saw how quickly my son's civil legal team settled his ex-girlfriend's lawsuit, so they believe they can receive a quick payday by falsely accusing my son. False allegations of assault thwart true victims of violence from getting the justice they deserve. To make matters worse, the federal government is now using these lies to prosecute my son. This injustice has been unbearable for our family. The worst part of this ordeal is watching my beloved son be stripped of his dignity, not for what he did, but for what people choose to believe about him. I ask his supporters, fans, colleagues, friends, and the public to not judge him before you have had the chance to hear his side. I beg you to think about those who have been wrongfully persecuted to remember that not everyone who has made mistakes in life deserves to have their entire existence judged by a single action or a few mistakes. My son is not the monster they have painted him to be, and he deserves the chance to tell his side. I can only pray that I'm alive to see him speak his truth and vindicate it. Respectfully, respectfully submitted on the behalf of Janice Small Combs and the Combs family. Now, this is the thing. These lawsuits and allegations have been coming out for years at this point. Diddy has had all the time in the world to speak on each situation. All the time in the world, but he hasn't said any words. Nor any of his colleagues. The only time we actually saw him come onto the internet and address the situation was when that video got leaked of him doing what he did to Cassie. That was the only time, and it was like a, it was like a, it was like an apology for getting caught. You know what I'm saying? It was an apology for getting caught and like not telling the truth, rather than just an apology to Cassie and everything that happened. So it, it, it's, a, it's an interesting situation, definitely. But I'm here for the entire trial. I'm de we definitely want to hear him out. But with all these allegations and lawsuits coming against him, it's really, it, it doesn't seem too good at all, whatsoever. So hope you guys did enjoy this video. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this entire situation and how you feel about him kissing his mom's on the lips, which is just, I say that's just weird. I'm not going to lie. That's just going way too far. But I guess they normalize that. I don't know what they be doing. But... Smash the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.